The City of Rochester has been working with our community partners uh, in many different areas here. We have um, groups, teams, if you will, that are working to help you, uh, to help this city get through the COVID-19 crisis, this pandemic. We have a group working on homelessness to try to make sure we have the right rules and regulations to protect our homeless population from getting the disease and spreading the disease, having a place for them to stay day and night now that the library's closed, and we need to concern ourselves with distance, distancing. In addition, we have a group on working with nonprofits on food and carrying our neighbor to neighbor network. So we're really working with our neighbors and 20 or 30 nonprofit agencies to get food out, to work to supplement the wonderful job that the Rochester Public Schools has done. Um, there are going to be approximately 20 locations around the city for uh, persons that are challenged with uh, getting enough meals for their family. And, and it doesn't mean you have to be low income. If you have a neighbor who's shuttered in their home and who needs a meal and needs support, you can go to one of these locations and grab a box of um, food from Channel One and deliver it, of course, using the safety precautions, deliver it to that neighbor um, to help them out. In addition to that, the third group that we have going right now is one on economic recovery and economic stability. The recovery phase is still probably a month out, but if we prepare right and we support our workers and our businesses right now, we have the very best chance of getting through this together in the least painful way possible. The uh, economic group is working with the Chamber of Commerce, with RDA, the Rochester Downtown Alliance, with Ready, which is the Rochester Area Economic Development Group, Destination Medical Center has just joined, and other businesses who are interested in helping provide support. The way this was kicked off is this is our um, city council voted uh, to support a $250,000 uh, loan program through Ready, and also some additional funds um, to support small businesses specifically. So. Uh, we're trying to build a program. It's almost ready, unbelievably. Uh, they, they voted those funds for those funds on Monday, and here it is Friday, the end of the week, and they are very near ready to roll out the program. It's been, it's all these committees and these groups have just mobilized so quick. The uh, Chamber of Commerce, Ready, RDA, and the city will all have information on their websites for those who have become recently unemployed due to COVID-19, how to get unemployment insurance. Um, how to support your business with a, a, a zero or, or a low interest loan. There'll be links to be able to do that. And also to understand that we're trying to supplement and fill the gaps as a city um, for the programs that are already being put in place by the state and I believe even just today by the federal government. So we don't want to supplant or duplicate, we want to fill the gaps. So we're trying to do this right. Um, I would beg people's patience. Um, again, it's only been a week. And um, I'm just really amazed by the, the willingness of the citizens, the businesses, um, the residents who live here uh, to come together and help us all find solutions that will work for everyone.